Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Monster Techno once again and this is the fifth part of the video series and in this video we will start learning how we can add enable initial ads or add mob ads in our application. In this part uh, we I just show you how you can add only the initial ad. Okay, those other ad services are same as in the document. I will follow all the things from the document. So just see this video. First of all, we need to add the Gradle file. So first of all, come to the documentation and the documentation is all is available there. So just add the dependencies. And sync, sync your project. Uh, you already have that. So after adding the SDK to your application, we need to initialize the app ID to the manifest. Uh, right now I am using the um, Atom of ID as sample um, because I am not using the original IDs and I will recommend you when you are developing your application, don't use your actual ad ID. Just use the uh, sample ad ID so it cannot complicate it when you are developing okay now our app id is ready now we need to initialize the app id again with uh, this 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 line of code but uh, i'm not i'm not thinking that to add that just come to the initial add id's documentation Okay, add the variable. As you guys can see that I'm just copying and pasting the code. Just follow the documentation and do the same. Everything is quite described in the documentation. Just read it and you will also learn how to do that. And this is also a sample add ID. Now we need to call this to build the ad. <clears throat> Otherwise the ad is not building. Okay. So add this. Um, code to where you are going to call the ad and let's run this application and see if the ad is loaded or not sorry something going wrong my uh, app is crashing right but I don't know why the error is not showing let's run it again and let's see what's wrong what's wrong it's still crashing why no logs are here okay it says that um, Initialization of mobile ad in it provider. Okay, I think I should do something wrong in the initialization stage. Okay, so I think I should do something wrong in the manifest file.
these things are right i think the id is also okay Let's run it again and let's see is it working or not or still crashing. Okay, it's still crashing. Okay, it's still crashing but uh, uh, the same error is here and the same error is also here. It's saying that invalid application ID. Okay, I think I did something wrong in the manifest as the value is not right. The application ID is not matched. That's why the application is crashing. Um, okay, as you can see that I already added the application ID but I added a space here. So that's why this application is crashing. Now the application should run okay. Okay, let's build up the application. And that's it, application is running. No crash anymore. But the application did not uh, load the ad because we did not refresh the ad build. So that's why the ad is not loaded. So you need to um, build the ad whenever the initial ad is shown or loaded uh, like that. So here you need to build uh, okay so let's run this, it again and let's see is the application loaded our ad or not the web page is loaded and whenever we reload that page the ad is showing so this is the simple way to do that i actually extend the video with no needed but i forget to add the initial ad id okay so thanks for watching this video uh, we will come back here with a new video uh, in the next video we will learn something new still now subscribe and like this video bye bye